So friends, Fulton County, Georgia District Attorney Fawny Willis just filed something in court that puts Donald Trump's criminal defense attorneys in their place. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, remember back in March when Donald Trump's criminal defense attorneys filed something that they called a motion to quash the Georgia grand jury's report. Here was the New York Times headline back in March. Trump's Georgia lawyers seek to quash special grand jury report. Now recall the special purpose grand jury issued a report that we believe, though we don't know for sure because nobody has seen it, it hasn't been publicly disclosed, but based on all the reportings and everything the grand jurors themselves said in media interviews that they were authorized to give, the special purpose grand jury report recommends indicting a whole bunch of people for violating Georgia state election laws. We suspect those people will include Donald Trump, Rudy Giuliani, maybe even Lindsey Graham. We'll see. These are the people who will find themselves on the wrong side of the V. People of Georgia V versus Trump, Rudy, and a host of others. And the Trump defense team filed a motion to quash that report. Okay, what is a motion to quash? A motion to quash is basically a motion to have the judge throw out, kill, invalidate the grand jury report. Basically, it's a motion to urge the judge to tear it up, throw it away, declare it null and void. When Donald Trump's second, maybe third rate criminal defense team down in Georgia filed this motion to quash a grand jury report back in March. You know what the first thing I said was? A motion to quash a grand jury report is not really a thing in the criminal law. And I predicted that District Attorney Fawny Willis would soon file something in court telling Trump's attorneys that a motion to quash a grand jury report is not really a thing and Fawny Willis just did precisely that. And there it is. Fawny Willis essentially just filed a 22-page smackdown of Trump's attorney's motion to quash the grand jury report. Now, let me just read a little bit of it, friends, to kind of give you a flavor of what D.A. Willis and her prosecution team thought of Trump's lawyer's motion to quash, throw out, kill, a grand jury report. Here is how Fawny Willis's court filing begins. On March 20th, 2023, former President Donald J. Trump filed a motion in this matter seeking several forms of relief. Presenting a variety of arguments, the motion ultimately requested that the final report of the Fulton County Special Purpose Grand Jury be quashed and expunged from the record that all of the evidence derived from the special purpose grand jury be suppressed in any future proceedings and that the Fulton County District Attorney's Office be disqualified from any further investigation and or prosecution of this matter or any related matter derived from their use of the special purpose grand jury. Oh, and by the way, for good measure, Donald Trump's attorneys also requested that the judge remove himself from the case. Judge McBurney should kick himself off the case and the matter should be reassigned or transferred to another judge for their consideration. Here is just some of how D.A. Willis replied. The state, that is Georgia, now responds that the motions should be dismissed or denied as appropriate, 
the movements, that is Trump and his legal team, advance constitutional arguments for which they have no standing and which fail to demonstrate the unconstitutionality of pertinent statutes. They request that the Fulton County District Attorney's Office be disqualified on grounds which fail to meet the exacting standards for prosecutorial disqualification under Georgia law, and also by repeating prior unsuccessful arguments or adopting standards which do not apply. They refer vaguely to violations of their own due process rights arising from a tainted grand jury process without making a showing demonstrating the existence of either. Overall, the motions are procedurally flawed and advance arguments that lack merit, and the state respectfully requests that this court retain supervision of this matter and dismiss or deny the motions as appropriate, oh, without a hearing. And D.A. Willis then spends the next 22 pages eviscerating Trump's attorney's legal arguments, which really are little more than a quasi-legal gibberish word salad. But it really is a pretty amazing ask that Team Trump made of Judge McBurney. They said, let's see, first of all, Judge, we want you to quash, that is, throw out the grand jury's report. We want you to expunge it not really a thing. You expunge convictions, not grand jury reports. We want you to suppress all evidence against Donald Trump for all time. We want you to kick off the case. The Fulton County District Attorney's Office and Judge, while you're at it, we want you to kick yourself off the case. You know, friends, I will spare you the 22-page legal filing, but I want to just read you one sentence that will give you a flavor of the kind of rock solid, you know, legally supported arguments that Donald Trump's criminal defense attorneys make. They're arguing that Judge McBurney should kick himself off the case because the courts, that is the judges, nexus to certain aspects of the special purpose grand jury and the subsequent drafting of the report in combination with his prior rulings require a transfer of the case to another judge. Friends, those are meaningless words and unsupported conclusions and District Attorney Willis tells them so over and over again throughout this 22 page court filing. As but one example, she says the movements, that is Trump's legal team, vague and sweeping assertions of due process violations lack a basis in law or in fact. You know, really, they only have a basis in hyperbole. I'll spare you the rest of this smackdown by District Attorney Fawny Willis, but it, it's absolutely clear Judge McBurney will very likely not remove himself from the case, not remove the Fulton County District Attorney's Office from the case, not suppress the evidence against Donald Trump, not expunge it, and not quash it, not throw it out, not declare it null and void. He will reject each and every claim made by Donald Trump's criminal defense attorneys, and then Come July or August, as Fawny Willis signaled previously, we will see indictments. And friends, I'm not a betting man. I'm not a high roller. One dollar is my betting limit, and I will bet a buck that Donald Trump will be on the wrong side of the V, the state of Georgia or the people of Georgia V versus defendant. Donald J. Trump. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again soon.